YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone, and question for you. Ever realize that sometimes we're shooting our slug reloads and it feels like the recoil is inconsistent every once in a while we get a shot that, that seems like it's a little different than the rest of them? Well, I'm testing my slug wad combinations, and sure enough, about one out of every ten shots, the recoil feels a little different. So I took one of my loads and I'm shaking it. And sure enough, I found one that has the sound of loose powder bouncing around in there. So I took it home and here's what I did. I put a blade about a quarter inch from the brass head. And I used a hammer, let's show you that, I used a hammer and I tapped through and saved the powder charge. like so. And then I examined. So it turns out that most of our loads, the wad is seated perfectly square to the powder charge and it's in there perfectly and that wad will, will behave properly. But every once in a while, and we can't tell when this happens, the wad actually catches and it doesn't go in straight. Not only that, but there's actually a little defect there that will allow powder to get into the space in the compression zone, and that's what I heard was shaking around. And we don't know when this is going to happen, but when it does happen, this load cannot shoot well. And that explains why sometimes we get inconsistent ignition of our slug loads. So, YouTubers, I cut open a few more shells, and this one's not as bad, but you can see that that wad base is not in there straight, and there is some damage to the skirt, but it's not bad enough to get any powder to shake loose in there. So, we don't know when we're going to get these, and it could easily explain why we have inconsistencies and some of the flyers we get in our groups but these are some of the things we have to put up with to get the economy of shooting our own slug loads for 12 cents. Is it worth it? In my opinion, yes it is. So YouTubers, you saw how I cut the head off and saved the powder charge on these loads? Well, suppose we want to save the wad and the slug as well, if the wad is still good that is. Well the way to do that is, well one way to do that is to cut the crimp off. So what you have is the wad on one side, this, this is the bad one, and the open slug on the other. Then take advantage of the MEC 600 Junior to take out the priming assembly, leaving you a bare opening with an edge, and then just place the edge of the hull against the opening, and then lower your primer seating arm, and eject the wad and the slug. Now the wad you see has been damaged very badly and we can't use that one again. That's going to be a bad load. But the slug, notice that we've saved the slug perfectly without any damage to the slug. So this is a good way to save components out of our shot shells. YouTubers out there take care. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.